Another way that concentration is described is what's known as molarity. And molarity is defined as moles of solute, what we're dissolving, per one liter of solution, where the solution is both the solute and the solvent. So if a sugar solution has a concentration of two molar, this capital M stands for molarity, and we also use the term molar, then that means if we have one liter of solution, there are two moles of sugar. If we have two liters of solution, four moles of sugar, etc. So here is the basic defining um, formula. Molarity is moles of solute over liters of solution. In like density, we have an equation with three variables, and we can express this express this equation three ways, depending on what we're given and what we're solving for. If we're solving for molarity, then we need the moles and we need the volume in liters. If we're solving for moles, we need the molarity and the volume in liters, and we multiply the two together. If we're solving for liters, then we need moles of solute divided by molarity. And um, let's take a look now at how we would actually make a one molar solution, and we'll choose sodium chloride as our solute. The first thing we would do is we would weigh out one mole of the sodium chloride. And the molar mass of sodium chloride is 58.45 grams. So we measure 58.45 grams on the scale, and then we add it to a flask that can hold one liter. And this type of flask is what's known as a volumetric flask. It has one line in the flask where it is exactly one liter. So we add our mole of sodium chloride to the flask, then we add water to dissolve, and when the water reaches this mark, we stop, and then we know we have exactly one liter of our solution, and in the solution, we have one mole. So we have a one molar sodium chloride solution. So let's go ahead and use our definitions and look at this example. This is example 13.3 from your textbook. And let's calculate the molarity of a solution made by putting 15.5 grams of sodium chloride into a beaker and adding enough water to make 1.5 liters of the solution. So the very first thing that we do whenever we're solving a problem is we write out the, um, the values that we're given. We're given that we have 15 15.5 grams of sodium chloride. We're also given that we have 1.5 liters of solution. And we want our molarity, which by definition is moles of our solute, which is sodium chloride, over liters of solution. So if I plug in what I already have, I already have 1.5, I'll go ahead and put that zero in, liters. Did they give us zero? Yeah, they did. Okay, 1.50 liters. But I don't have my moles. However, I do have 15.5 grams of sodium chloride. And with a periodic table, I can calculate the molar mass of sodium chloride. The molar mass of sodium chloride is 58.45 grams. With the molar mass, I can calculate how many moles of sodium chloride I have if I have 15.5 grams. So if I look at my railroad math, my grams of sodium chloride cancel out, and I'm left with units of moles of sodium chloride. And my calculator gives me the value 0 0.265. So now I can plug this back up in my equation, 0 0.265 moles. Now, I can divide these two values, and I'll get my molarity. My calculator tells me 0 0.177. And my units are going to be moles per liter, or I can use a capital M. So here's my final answer. And does this answer make sense? Yes, it makes sense, because I have less than a mole with 15.5 grams, here's a mole, and I have more than a liter, so my molarity should be much less than one molar, which would be one mole per liter, and it is.